So yeah, welcome in the future. I see you stop you You stop you Nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm too visual. <laughs> hey guys, so yesterday was a big day. Uh, yesterday after a year we left an early access on all platforms. I'm extremely happy that we get to this point, but this doesn't mean that we are done, not even close. I want to do this video just to tell you a little bit more uh, what happened yesterday, uh, a little bit behind. There was a few questions from you guys, so I will try to uh, reply on most of them. So let's start. So 21st of May 2019, big day, we left early access, but also Beat Saber appeared on the new hardware from Oculus called Oculus Quest, which is first and alone headset, uh, which will probably be a big deal in virtual reality in general. We work really, really, really hard to make this uh, the best sport possible what we can do. Uh, and I don't know if you've seen Twitter, but Jan, our main developer, he was tweeting that he pretty much replaced most of the shaders from the original Beat Saber. So it's not like blind port. We work hard on tracking. Uh, we try to like push the limits what the device is capable of. Actually, guys from Oculus did, did amazing job. We were cooperating with them really, really heavily on this. And even Mr. Carmack himself, uh, he was working on the tracking to be sure that uh, Quest can handle Beat Saber and the best of you. And I think they did amazing job. And of course the device will be still improving as every hardware, but uh, I'm, I'm really surprised. And you can, you can play Expert Plus levels easily. We are super happy about that. By leaving early access, we actually try to merge the prizes on all platforms, which means that on PlayStation, the game was already in full version. So the, the price was 29.99. So the same price is now on Steam and Oculus platforms, even on Oculus Quest. We also already mentioned that cross-buy is not supportive when you are going from Rift to Quest. There's a couple of reasons. It took us months and like crazy, crazy amount of work to, to pretty much rework the whole game for Quest. What is important is that all the music, music packs, what you buy on Rift or Quest will be cross-buy. So you, if you buy one music pack on Rift, it will be also available on Quest without any additional fees. When we are talking about the music, uh, some of you were complaining that there is a lot of electronic music and not other styles. Beat Saber, from creative standpoint of view, it really feels that the electronic music is the perfect fit. And now we are working on the way how to make it interesting even for different genres. So the environment have to be a little bit different and stuff like this because you know, the easiest way what we could do is like to bring random styles, bring it in, then hope that everybody will, will likes it. But we really trying to make rhythm game what is truly great. So we are carefully choosing styles and music and artists who will be featured in Beat Saber because it needs to fit the environment. So we are trying to like merge it together. But right now we are actually uh, finalizing the next music pack, which will be amazing and it wouldn't be electronic music. Uh, so I think a lot of you uh, will be really excited about this one. Uh, we will be definitely telling you a little bit more about it. We will also soon announce the release date. But of course, as I said before, uh, we will be releasing uh, free music in Beat Saber as well. We are also working on a new original soundtrack, which will be original soundtrack three, and this will be also free update. Yeah, a lot of, lot of free music is coming as well. You shouldn't be worried. <sighs> Big topic, <laughs> mods on Quest. As everybody, if you will be creating game and you will see the huge community support behind your game, you will be like out of this world and you will be super excited, but it's not humanly possible to check everything and be sure that, you know, everything is perfectly coded. It's there is no way we can do it with five people in, in the office. No way. <laughs> of course, as on any other platforms, we can't be responsible for third-party software. So we can officially support mods on Quest. Uh, it's similar to PSVR. So even level editor, it's a big issue. We simply can't do this. So that's pretty much how the platform works. And we can't do anything about that. For those who are using PlayStation, uh, PSVR, we are still working on the update because there were a few issues what occurred. We were working on this for a whole night. Uh, 
and we are still fixing that but it should be fixed really soon so you will get the update and thank you very much for patient so these were a few points what uh, I just wanted to talk about because there was like a few people who were mentioning this in reviews and so hopefully it's now a little bit more clear we will be also on e3 this year uh, which is pretty soon thank you very much for uh, watching uh, if you have anybody who have concerns or who needs to reply on this on these questions what I already mentioned please send them send them send them this video <laughs> we will probably meet you on e3 thank you very much for supporting us with quest by the way it's great device <laughs> Bye.